and the specific differential phase KDP. And, and we'll go through these, you know, just the basics of what they are. And we're, we're going to start with the ZDR, the differential reflectivity. And um, basically what it's doing, it's the difference between the horizontal and vertical reflectivity factor. So pretty much it dis defines the drop size. And what we can use it for is hail, melting layer, updraft, uh, tornado debris, rain versus snow, and different types of, of frozen precipitation. So generally, if you see on the bottom right there, the ZDR, it's going to be close to zero when you're talking about something spherical. So something like hail, um, you know, large hail, it's going to tend to be close to zero. Um, but the issue is, in, you know, often you get melting hail, especially um, in this part of the country. So when you get that melting hail, you can get very high values of the ZDR. So it all depends on, on the type of situation uh, that you're looking at. But, I mean, obviously you have to look at other data. You can't just look at, you know, you have to compare it to what the reflectivity is, what the SRN is to kind of be able to detect here. But just looking at this roughly, you can see, you know, the ZDR seems to be um, close to zero in this area. So that's probably an indication of very large hail. And that's actually a hail spike. And we can talk about that in a few minutes.